much since the beginning. What? And causing trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, help, well, actually, causing trouble for some people, you know, so, some people thought it was causing trouble, other people didn't, so. <laughs> right, of course. I was not unengaged. Well, in college, we'd come down, you know, we'd get rooms near each other and, you know, what everybody does. We live in Silver Spring, and we got this invitation from a restaurant on Route 1 in College Park, kind of a couple of miles up, and they wanted us to come to this free dinner and see about this wonderful thing that was going to happen. I don't remember how the invitation came. That was what I don't remember. Because they had to get the word out somewhere and they couldn't send a letter to everybody in the world. So how did we get that? And then we got a door prize. We got a nice orange thermos, big thermos jug, and we still have it. <laughs> well, it would have been in the spring of 1969 because we bought our lot in early 1969 in uh, May, I think it was. And they made it very easy. It, we only paid five hundred dollars. They gave us time, plenty of time to pay for it. it was, they made it very, very hard to say no. You know, it was pretty amazing. So we we rented houses with other friends every summer. We always rented a house with with friends, and. I guess most of them all bought houses too. Yeah, so we, we brought a lot of people down. I guess the first thing I really remember is the, the, door, the adorable bridge. And that's what I think most people remember from that day, is the first coming over that little bridge. You got checked in and checked out because there were, this was in, in uh, May of, of 1969, and they had done some selling in the fall, but I think it wasn't really, I don't think they really got anywhere much, but they had the big, the big straw hats and the Hawaiian shirts and the great big cars, so you got in their car, and then they drove you around to see, um, to see the properties, because the, uh, the north side was all that they were showing at the time. They promised that there was going to be a pool here, and they promised that there would be a campground. So we were thrilled. And I can't remember if we had a camper already. I think we bought one. And the campground was just amazing. It was the most fun. <laughs> there was a big, there was no water out in the campground yet. So there's a big pump. So boys that were old enough and strong enough pumped the water to bring it back to their pop up or whatever they had. And they put up a little bathhouse, and they put some washing machines and dryers, and there were a few showers in there, and of course there were toilets in there. So you had to run back and forth to the toilet. Most everybody, of course, after they went swimming and went to the ocean every day, cleaned their children up and clean clothes, you know, to go home. You weren't taking your kids up there for their regular showers, but of course children have been known to, to be fall down and get dirty, you know, before dark. So there was activity in the uh, showers. Well, people would get together for supper sometimes. Um, I think a lot of people went out for supper. We made lunch and stuff, and then we went out for supper. And everybody got to know each other. And a, a funny thing was, uh, and there was a principal, there was this old school bus that was not in good shape. I mean, it couldn't be used anymore. And he painted this school bus of really nice color that sort of blended in with the woods back there. You know, it wasn't sticking out. So his camper was the school bus. <laughs> and I can't remember how many people he had in his family, but you know, you could get a few people in there. He had it fixed out. But there were all kinds of interesting things. And the kids could go down the hill right to the uh, dock down there, right where the boats come in and out now. And they could play down there. So, I mean, it was just, the campground was just wonderful. That, that's one of the things that sold it for us, that the pool would be open 
by 1970 and that the campground would be open. And, and the campground was so much fun. I mean, well, you know what? I, what a, there's an area that I, nobody seems to remember. You're in Whitehorse Park, but you go down further and there's the skateboard thing. And then there's a little path, yeah, but there's this out. huge area that was dug out because it was like going in a jungle and there were vines that were hanging down and the kids could swing on the vines and it was like being in another world down there, but nobody ever talks, nobody seems to remember it. And you can, you can walk down there, you can drive down there, you can go past, because our, 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 our place, our, you know, you, you sort of got your own spot and everybody knew where your spot was. We were right there next to it and I, I've never, I would like for somebody to see if they can figure out what that is. They had already dug the pond. That's why we bought the lot, because he wanted to live near it, because the playground was already done. See, they had dug all the dirt out and thrown it up on the hill. And then there's a little road around to um, Pinehurst. And our house is on Sandy Hook, but the backyard, you can just walk through the backyard and you're right there on the street. So this is the lot we chose because he wanted it. Because it was, of course, <laughs> by, the time the, by, by the time everything got built up, you know, really um, better, he was kind of too old. We got our house later. We didn't get our house right away. So he completely enjoyed it. I mean, from his first ride around, this is, this is, uh, this is the lot. I want this lot. And we could walk right straight out the back of our house and be at the uh, road that goes to Ambridge Park. In 1974, when I told it that you know, they had to just, they had a, they were having, we didn't know this because we, my stepfather was sick all summer. And, you know, I said we had rented a house. So we weren't really in, into stuff and we didn't know what was going on. So they were having a, a, a beauty contest. So we got up here, and, and he's really kind of a shy kid, and he still is a shy kid. He says, I want to put my sister in this contest. And she was adorable. She, she was, I think she was seven, she was seven or eight, I guess. And she was really a year too young, I think. But anyway, the, the people saw her, and they let her be in the contest, and she got a, a runner up and a little, she got a little thing, but, but that was, we didn't know that was happening because we had just arrived because, you know, we, we were getting here at the end of August, so we didn't know what was going on. I wanted to mention the Amy Ross. Do you know that, what the Amy Ross is? You know that. And Carolyn was the baby, and the Amy Ross had dancing, and it had a, a paddle wheel, and Carolyn was about four years old. And there was this guy named Charles, and he was probably maybe six. So he came over and he says, can I dance with her? And I said, well, she's never been to a dance. You know, she does well, I guess she did, well, she did actually know how to dance because she, she took dancing lessons, but not, you know. The issue was that some people wanted to put piers all the way out here around this area. And of course, people's homes overlook that. And they didn't want to look out to see piers and piers and piers. I mean, it was going to be a mess. And they just didn't want it. And well, nobody around here wanted it. And no, there were several reasons, because it was ugly. And it would change the whole, just the whole picture would be different. And, and of course, Seabreeze is a narrow street. And just look at how many kids are riding their bicycles down this really narrow street. Now, can you imagine a, a boat trailer coming up? And it would, it would be a lot. And it would be dangerous. I didn't have a boat, but I had two kids. And I had friends who had kids. And I had pit friends who lived around here. And it was just wasn't right. We, we had people signing, um, signing papers to say we don't want this. And we collected, I don't know how many hundred 
um, slips and delivered them to the uh, board of directors. They didn't want to hear about it. You know, like, I didn't see anything. No. So a friend of mine here, she says, you know, when we signed that paper at the meeting that night, she said, I got a thing in my mailbox. Well, I didn't get it. And she read it to me. I said, uh-oh, because it said, we have decided to, to, to um, allow this to happen. And if you have anything to say about it, you have any comments to make, make them by this date. And the date was the next day. Because I thought, well, those people better, you know, get on it. But some people are not, you know, they're not going to be aggressive enough. So I guess I got in the car and just drove down here that night because I was, the meeting was over there at the big, the room in the go, at the golf club. And what, well, I have to remember this girl. She was on the board, but she had gotten the letter, but she didn't realize it because when she was sitting up there, when I started to speak, I said, please don't do this. And um, she's going like this, and I thought, she got the letter, but she didn't know it. So she wasn't prepared to, to fight it because she didn't want it either. It was just so sneaky. If you look out here, you see all these people, all these people over here, everybody around here would have these, can you imagine? I mean, you didn't buy that. You bought a house on the water. You didn't buy a house full of, it was just terrible. I said, well, I think a lot of people are very glad I interfered. Joe and back Jack Barnes didn't believe. <laughs> I called him, I said, look, this happened. He said, no, that, that couldn't have happened. I said, it happened. <laughs> so I got this crow as somebody had it. I forgot what it was. It would hang in somebody's yard or something goofy. And anyway, we took it to, to uh, uh, De Novas, De Novas, right? We had breakfast at De Novas or lunch or something. And all, these, all the people showed up at the, the Novas to watch Joe eat the crow because, he, no, Nancy, you, that can't be right. Okay. okay, well, you say it can't be right, but I'm telling you it's right. And it was. And we don't have it. And thank God. <laughs> A few people out, at other, you know, stuck their head in it. And so we didn't have to have all that because that would have been the front yard of, of, of all these homes. And when they came to Ocean Pines, they didn't buy that. We have this little part around here. So anyway, you just, but you, if my friend hadn't called me the night before, I said, and, and the, the, the person that was on the board, when I got up to say something, I said, please do not do this. If, if sir, other people had gotten the letter, you know, it would have been down here. But anyway, they weren't, and I was there, so I got it. I got the word, so I don't know. It's, it was just stunk. You have to call the people that are at the top. And then when they found out that they didn't know, the only people who have, I think, the, the Ruth Ann, is that, that's her name. Ruth Ann said we were the only people who have, I guess that's a parking pass at the Beach. Because she said to me, she told me last year when we paid our thing is $30 or whatever it is yeah. you pay, that there was only one other family, but that we're the only two people that have those passes anymore. Just so long as it gets paid before uh, April or something or other, it is. <laughs> and so, but the guy knows us, he, his name is Dan, I think. Mm -hmm. He knows who we are. So. You're like a celebrity when you come well, to Well, yeah, I mean, club. yeah, but I mean, but who knew? But all you really had to do was pay your $30 because those passes cost a lot of money. Because it's a neat place. <laughs> we wouldn't drive all this way if it wasn't a great place. But yeah, we did make quite a few friends from the campground because it's just that kind of place. <laughs> yeah, it was. it was. It was the most fun ever.